There we go. Hi, Scooter. Having a little run in the wheel. Look at that power. That's a power run, Scooter. Yes, power. If we could get the camera focused on me for a second now. Can you see me? Hi, I'm Jennifer McCreeth. Standing in pitch black, dark. As you can see, my television, the VCR, the lights are off. I've got a battery powered flashlight here. Here's my living room, or not the living room, kitchen. I don't need to tell you, but it's off too. Off, off, off. Smoke detector, I hope it still works. That's battery operated, so that's okay. The cat's alive. Hi, Dan. Meow. Meow. Hi. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get see if we can hold the camera, like, kind of on my face so you can see. There we go. So tonight is January 5th, 2014. It's about 10 p.m. It's been an interesting couple of days here in uh, Newfoundland, Canada. We have essentially seen almost all the island without power for portions of the past 72 hours, I guess. Um, we did have a snowstorm, then we had some wind. Uh, we also apparently had a, we have problems with one of our power generators here in the province in Holyrood and a second power generator in is it Sunnyside or Sunnyville? Sunnydale? Um, something going on there that uh, bottom line is uh, power's been down. There's been issues raised publicly that we don't have enough power for this province and that rolling blackouts is the only way to ensure that some people get some power what has actually ended up happening though is most people have had no power for most of that. Right after the announcement that the rolling blackouts are over, well, looks like the whole city's down again. I mean, accidents happen, things do catch fire. The Hollywood one is just, there's been problems with that for years. And if you go talk to our government, they say, well, we're building Muskrat Falls, we're going to have a big energy project. Uh, well, where was all this 10 years ago? That's my question. Is it two, 2014 in Canada? Is it reasonable to not have any faith or confidence in your, in your uh, power companies? Even more suspect the fact that the only power company out there is the government. Last year they took away the rights for anyone else to provide power, produce power, or sell power. So the only place to get your electricity is from the government. And now the government's been pulling the plug on us at will, um, sometimes without warning. Google Bill 61, 62, and 63 from last year's Newfoundland House of Assembly. You'll see, you'll see some very interesting stuff. Um, I guess my question is, uh, is, this, is this appropriate? Is this an appropriate level of service? Is it uh, acceptable? to have a major catastrophe in terms of power um, prop, power management, I guess we'll call it. Is it acceptable that one little fire and one little snowstorm could knock power out for 750,000 people for three to five days? Um, I don't think that's acceptable. I think we expect more. I think our taxes demonstrate that we deserve more bang for our buck. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm fortunate to a certain extent. I don't really need power to do a lot of things. I can sit here in the dark and put the flashlight on my camera till the cows come home. Um, I've got family. Well, not family here, but I've got friends and co-workers. Uh, they've got little kids. Um, Difficult. There's seniors that I know who have rely on power to keep medication and, and, and things like that organized. Now the refrigeration or lack of refrigeration is a problem. 
Combine that with the fact that the city f refuses to move snow off the sidewalks. It makes this city unlivable in some ways. And uh, this is, I've been using terms like nuisance and inconvenience a lot when talking about things like this, but I'm now saying unlivable. Um, it's been a very rough week and this is not looking good we're asking our neighbors in PEI to send over people to help us restore power we're telling everyone we don't have enough power for ourselves yet we're trying to sell power to Nova Scotia I'm not sure that this is good for business folks Newfoundland I mean I don't think you're gonna attract tourists to come and, and sit in the dark you're not gonna attract people live here if they can't raise their family properly in our household um, the grocery stores they were without power and the two or three hours they did have power it was it was a zoo in there um, yeah I just think this is rather ridiculous and it's not good enough and I recognize there's not a lot we can do in the in the micro perspective is manage the power that we've got each day conserve absolutely I've, it's tough though, you tell people to conserve, turn your heat down, we're going to have these rolling blackouts, you're only going to be without your power for an hour, well then guess what, you're out of power for seven or eight hours, so what are you going to do when you do get your power back, you're going to turn the heat up for a bit, it's a, the coldest winter that we've had here in a long time, and uh, we're just not programmed. I know a lot of the folks down in the United States think all of us here in Canada live in igloos, but that's not really the case. We're not used to this. It's going to be tough to function. People like myself, let's talk about employment and uh, essential services. <coughs> when you've spent three days without power, three days shoveling snow and pushing cars outside of parking lots, probably haven't had a decent meal, um, you're probably dehydrated, now you're going to be asked to go to work. <laughs> going to be an interesting day of work for me tomorrow as I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that won't make it in and yeah it's just going to be very rough but I don't know it is what it is um, I, I, I feel frustrated I like to think I can be part of the solution to not necessarily fix this specific problem but I think I've got a lot of great ideas that can make this province a better place a, a more livable place prosperous place, a friendly place, and unfortunately there's not too many people out there that uh, want to take my ideas. Um, can't seem to get hired into a better job that would allow me to do program management or policy development, and I can't seem to get myself voted into a, uh, a political position either. Oh well people, I hope you're happy. Um, you voted for the people that make these decisions. Um, you voted for the people who are pulling the plug or are not fixing the power. Provincial government's been in power for 10 years. They should have been fixing that holy route station a long time ago. <laughs> Building Muskrat Falls is not good enough. That's not going to solve the problem today, tomorrow, next week, or even next year. Um, yeah, disappointed, frustrated, and uh, we'd love to know what other people think. Anyways, enough of that. Um, I'm going to sign off for now. Thanks for watching. Jennifer McCreeth. Have a good night.